Hello boys and girls, but especially girls, it is Publius Felicius. It's a long time that I don't publish any video, but watching YouTube I saw that there's not particularly anything for an extremely basic synthesis, that is to say copper nitrate. Well, many YouTubers produce it, but they do not show how to isolate a compound, how to store it, so this is an almost complete guide about it. Warning. Nitric acid is highly corrosive and nitrogen dioxide extremely toxic. Please work in a few moods and wear protective equipment for eyes and skin. Now, to start at 28 grams of 65% nitric acid to a glass beaker containing 7 grams of pure copper. Do not use plastic jars, please. The reaction starts immediately. The solution, as you can see, turns to green, and nitrogen monoxide combines with the oxygen in the air to give the red nitrogen dioxide. Here I show you the reaction. It lasts a long time, so let me skip over this part. Now it's almost over, but it's better to let it rest overnight. As you can see, the solution has turned to azure, given by the ion Cu2+. The next step is preparing a desiccator bag. Copper nitrate is in fact highly agroscopic and it bonds to molecules of water in the air. So, it's very very difficult to extract it from aqueous solutions. After take your solution in a plastic container, just roll up some protective film around the bottom of the glass, or the sodium hydroxide will corrode it. Now add some sodium hydroxide in the other container as much as you can. Then put your beaker into the second one and place them into a plastic bag well closed. Sodium hydroxide, in fact, will absorb all water present in solution. The knot has to be done so that no air can pass. Now let your bag rest in a warm place for about one month. There are many things that you can do in the meantime, but that you already know. And here we are one month later. Let's open the coffin. You can see copper nitric crystals on the bottom of the beaker. Now, listen to me. You have to work fast since from the moment you open the film, crystals will start to come back to a solution. Now remove with a teaspoon the crystals. Dry off the product and put it into a glass vial that we are going to seal. If you have glass ampoules that you are able to seal on fire, it's better. But I don't have them. As you can see, it's very difficult to dry crystals before they come back to a solution and part of the product is lost. As you can see, after 30 seconds, my table seems something as a battlefield, but the vial is almost full. However, these are the vials containing copper nitrate. Seal them with Teflon and extra strong glue or both. The important is that no air can enter. Now you have pure copper nitrogen crystals ready to be used. That's all folks. That's all guys. That's all ladies.